Hey y'all, welcome back to the Wenzel Reboot. I wanted to go over some Halo stuff today. I wanted to bring in my friend, Gorilla Customs on IG. Go check him out on IG. Links will be down in the description. And I want to talk to him about Halo. Now, I was going to do this video and I was going to have it be about the Warhog and it was going to be like, how to assemble the Warhog. But I was like, I think you guys can figure it out. So, it's four tires. You put the four tires on. And then you add the antenna, which goes on the passenger side, passenger side back, right? You put in the galley, not the galley, but the turret gun. You put in some ammunition, this little thing right here, which you guys could paint up and make really cool if you wanted to. And uh, yeah, the gas tanks, this is where I tripped the most. I couldn't figure out where these extra gas tanks went. So yeah, I had a little bit of a rough time. It took me about five to eight minutes putting it together. But I figured if I did a video just on assembling the Warhog, it would be like three or four minutes. So, yeah, there's no suspension on it because there is suspension on some 118 vehicles like the G.I. Joe uh, little Jeep thing that was just out not too long ago. It just dropped a little, like a month or so, two months ago. It has no suspension, but it's really cool. The Marines fit in it freaking perfect. It actually should have came with the Marine instead of master chief because we're on so many extra leftover master chiefs and that's what i'm going to get into i've done some customs here along the way i did a little red white and blue and i'm going to show these guys off at the end um i'll do like a breakdown tell you what paints i used all that jazz that i normally do it's not going to be a tutorial i also did a fun one that's sitting right here in front of me but i'll show you at the end you might see it actually throughout this video as i talk to my buddy josh so as always this video is brought to you by the Beard Struggle. Go to thebeardcircle.com. Save yourself 15% by using promo code Wenzel35. That's Wenzel35 at checkout. Also, if you guys spend like 100 bucks, you get free shipping and you get like a free gift, like a $15, $20 gift, which is always cool because it's like an extra oil, an extra beard rub, something extra. So it's really nice. And it's chemical free. There's no chemicals. It's all natural stuff. So it's, you're not putting junk on your face. You're putting clean stuff on your face you're making your skin healthy because you want to keep them pores nice and clean and open so you can get more cool beard hair right more facial hair and we'll look like a viking soon hopefully in the next year or so we'll be getting this down but anywho back to halo we're gonna jump into this hopefully we're gonna do like a video every week i'm thinking like a 118 weekly video because we like 118 we like 112 my friend josh and i we're not married to one or the other I think we want to kind of focus on 118 because there's so many guys doing 112. There's not as many doing 118. And I can bring all the people who do 118 stuff onto this channel and they can hang out for like a couple minutes, you know, 10, 20, 30 minutes. Maybe we'll do an hour podcast. Who knows? But I think it'd be something fun to do. And if you're not 118 lover, it's okay. You don't have to watch it. But if you want to check out some cool customs and cool things that we're going to do, and toy photography can be really epic when it comes to 118 because you have vehicles and you have bigger better dioramas at some time i mean the 112 dioramas are tight and sweet like some people can kill it but with 118 you can just fit a lot more into a shot if that makes sense there's a lot of guys and gals out there that can really do a lot when it comes to 118 scale so hopefully i can have as many people on here as possible i've been trying to do it through zoom Zoom didn't work out so great the first the first few times I've used it. So there's actually a video that I have that I've been sitting on with Empire Toy Works with Chris from Empire Toy Works, and it just the audio was off and stuff. I might still put it together as long as everyone realizes that there is some issues with the video and audio. Um, I might still put that out. I'm still debating on it because I don't want anything put out that doesn't look professional and perfect. So let's jump into this video. We're gonna talk to Moyer from Gorilla Customs, and then at the end, we're going to have toy photography and a break. I'm going to do a breakdown and then toy photography. So stay tuned. Hey, does it still say Toy Boy? <laughs> It yeah. it's it's Gorilla Customs, Toy Boy. It's whatever. Every time you say Halo going forward, though, you gotta pause, and then I want you to insert the 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 theme music, the load the the the, the main <laughs> menu music. Uh, but anyway, Halo, yeah, holy shit, man, uh, Jazzwares. 
who don't I mean they don't just kick a huge amount of ass with their Fortnite toys or anything that they've ever done before, which they've done a lot of stuff before. Um yeah. they're uh, they're fucking slaying right now with these uh Halo toys. The the problem is and the reason that it's not a bigger deal is because this was supposed to be a, a kind of a, a drop. The toys were supposed to come out the same time as the game. And the game yeah. obviously has been pushed back. So it's no longer a Christmas launch release. And so that we've kind of got a, a, a toys for a video game that's not out. And without a video game, it's not, you know, the hype isn't really there. So I hope Which that doesn't work. <laughs> no, I've already. So there's. There's a few different vehicles. I just had the ghost up, but we're getting so many Master Chiefs that I just wanted to make cool stuff. So I made a red, white, and blue America Master Chief. So he was fun. And then I'm working on a rigid shot pack one, which I'll close the video out talking about him because he'll be done by then. But yeah, he's just a little... He's a... He's a street cleaner, you know? And this is going to be the little vacuum. So we'll go, woo. And Colin said something to me like, why would they need that? Like, because battle is dirty sometimes and you just need a shot back. Battle is dirty. Yeah, I just, uh, no, I'm always at work when I'm at the shop. I have two jobs. So my one job, I'm at the shop and we're always using a shop back. And, uh, it's a family-owned business, so I've only known rigid shop vacs my entire life. So I was like, you know what? It'd be something cool. But yeah, I just love like the scale is just really cool. I've said it on like three or four different things. Just how the Marines are like if they're six foot tall, then the Spartans are like the seven and a half. Yeah, dude, that's something I was kind of worried about. Um, is I was wondering. Who was going to be 118? Like, yeah, it's going to be 118 scale, but they're also like, oh, it's three and three quarter. My worry was that Chief was going to be three and three quarter. Right. And then the Marines were going to be like three inches tall. Or, <laughs> or, right. They made a scale so that you could do it with like your other stuff. Who's that guy? Isn't that the leader of your Marines? Uh, yeah, this is, uh, Sergeant Avery Johnson. <laughs> That's why I don't know. I'm just glad they jumped into the three, three and three quarter world because it. I think it changed up everything. Well, Halo is there's it's such a big deal to have, be able to have all your vehicles and to be able to have you know three banshees, four ghosts, all that shit running around. And if you keep it in three and three quarter scale, it's super affordable. Otherwise, we have you know a two hundred dollar uh, warthog right. that you'd get to do with you with your fucking <laughs> master chief. Um, the cool thing about Jazzwares is they keep their shit. Or uh, I guess this is wicked cool toys. It's like a, I don't know a merger name change thing, whatever. Um, Wait, I don't understand that. So like, when we're looking for this stuff, we look. We don't look up wicked toys. We actually look up Jazzwares. I, I'm not sure which one. They're the same thing. They're the same company. It emerged or something. I heard uh, the guy talk about it on a Pixel Dan video. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I wanted to do like a separate video just to show people how to put it together. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's uh, There's no, a lot I'm there. Like, you had so much trouble putting it together. Like I'm just bloop, 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 and Like these tanks. Stuck. These tanks, man. I didn't know that they <laughs> went back here. I was like, oh, that makes sense. But yeah, other than that, it's pretty simple. Looked at the box. Okay, this antenna goes on the back side. I didn't know that for a couple of hours. So I was like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I got Spidey in there right now. But that's a cool thing, man, is you can put people like Spider-Man, little Tom Holland hanging out in the Warhog. <laughs> well, you know, I heard someone say about the Warhog. They were like, oh... Um, he doesn't really, Master Chief doesn't really fit in it. And I'm like, well, it's not made for Master Chief. It's made for no. the Marines. It's made for the yeah. UNSC. Like, that's a, a, a soldier transport vehicle. Actually, like, it's for the pilot guy, right? Well, no, he, he pilots a ship. But, yeah, a human-sized guy, him or the Marines. But, yeah, the Marines are definitely made for it. 
I was going to say just a second before I forget. Um, we were talking about the prices. Yeah. And I just think fucking swing it. The Marines, like, everybody's 10 bucks. The figures are 10 bucks a piece. The vehicles are 30 bucks, but you get a and figure. The articulation the is insane. Ah, uh, you know, I. I love the legs. The arms pitch me off a little bit. Yeah. I really like that they give you a gun hinge. Gun hinge. Um, but. I don't know. The, the elbows just don't bend as much as I'd like them to. But For that's the it. price. That's the only thing I like so far. Just the elbows. The price is crazy, though. And then, like, for the bad guys, they have so many different hinges and stuff. Yeah. It's just crazy. Well, they just articulate the fuck out of the... I mean, it's like it's like McFarlane articulation. You know? Those guys could move all around, do all kinds of crazy shit, and here we are in a little tiny piece of plastic that's super affordable and readily available. And, <laughs> and so, they're... they're, uh... they're they're conscious of army building packs. Like they gave us, yeah, some of them. Like you, for the main characters, you bought it, came with a Spartan, blah blah blah. But they gave us a grunt with a marine. Like how fucking cool is that? In a huge like, box, dude. I don't know how they, they didn't make any money on these boxes they gave us. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I don't know what's going on with the packaging. If they're just trying to grab your attention or what? Yeah, because uh, this is insane for. Literally what you can fit in your hand. Figures, like, yeah. <laughs> hey man, they want you to they want kids to be excited about it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm the biggest excited kid ever, man. <laughs> so do you got any custom halos that you're doing that you're thinking about? Yes. Well, okay, so I have coming in the mail, I have uh an ODST helmet and uh Buck. I have a cast of Buck's head. Ooh. That I'm going to be using, and I don't know. I think I'm going to use the blue one, the blue Spartan, and I'm going to see how that head measures up. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can use that body. I, I've seen people use that to make uh, Noble Six, and it looks really fucking cool. Hey, what's Noble Six? Noble Six from Reach. Oh, okay. Um, And then, yeah, so I'm going to try that with Buck. See how I like that. I don't know what size the head is. I'm really curious because I had a, a, a hell of a time making this head for uh, Sergeant Johnson. It's just a hax head with, uh, I don't know if you can see it at all, but it's just a, yeah. a hax head with a gung-ho hat, and I shaved the beard off, and the face doesn't look a ton like Johnson. I mean, it's like an <laughs> older guy with a mustache, but... um. I was curious if the McFarlane Johnson and the McFarlane human characters, how they scaled up because I know I have a McFarlane, uh, Halo five chief right here up against this three and three quarter guy. I mean, they're, they're different size, but I'm wondering you could definitely mix in some of the aliens. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering where the human characters line up because I know the human characters are about this size, but the scale was kind of fucky and all over the place. I know Forge was wasn't like five and five and a half ish around there. It wasn't really, and it was like Chief was five and a half inches, but um, the human characters weren't. They were kind of all over the place, and then the ODSTs were tiny, and there was a whole squad of them. I had all of them, pretty much. I had uh, those are one Dude, of the things. I was that... I was hunting so hard uh, when these first dropped, like the targets and stuff, and that, and now they're like everywhere. Like every Walmart I've been to, they're just stacked yeah. up or hogs and stuff. Like this was so hard to find when it first dropped. They were like 120 on eBay and. Just oh crazy yeah, prices. Because they did the thing that Jazz always does, and they didn't talk about. It. They just like here's some toys. Yeah. No pre-order. No bullshit. <laughs> All of a sudden, you can just go to the store, and there's your toys, and you're playing with them. They're fucking awesome like that. I love that they do that. The thing that I like, I like the GI Joe, uh, the one that you got, the uh, Jeep. 
Does it have springs in it? There's no springs in, uh, excuse me, Jesus. There's no springs at all on the Warhog. So, but. Oh, yeah. No, it's just straight. I mean, you don't need springs, but it's a cool effect that the G.I. Joe. It had that little suspension. Recorded. Yeah, that's a cool effect. That was cool. You could slap that fucking vehicle. What is that thing called? The off striker? It's like a it's like a dune buggy. And the hissy hiss tank. <laughs> I love I love the hiss tank. Dude, but yeah, I wanna do a video like maybe once a week on one eighteen stuff or three and three quarter stuff. Um, cause like I, I'm getting enjoy toy stuff. I know you're always getting enjoy toy acid rain a lot. So, I'm on an like, acid rain kick right now. Like the yeah, last so, few days. Especially on Instagram, Gorilla Customs on Insta, not Toilet Boy, like it says. Not but yet. Yeah, dude. Not, that's the rebrand <laughs> right there. <laughs> that's 2021 <laughs> rebranding is going to be all Toilet Boy. <laughs> toilet Boy Customs. I love it. Toilet Boy Studios. But yeah, dude, I just got the Joy Toy stuff in. I'm pretty excited about that, too. And, like, I think it's going to scale decently with uh, Halo stuff. We'll see. I think so. I think if you set Halo up as kind of your, your, your ground level, your base universe, and you bring in a lot of the Joy Toy Marines and shit and have them kind of sub in as as like ODSTs or um, just more badass Marines because they're they look even the uh, the Joy Toy no Haya Colonial Marines would look good in there too, dude. Yeah, because I mean the UNSC is pretty much a rip off of Colonial Marines or not a rip off I guess but you know UNSC. What does it stand for? I don't remember. I believe it's United Nations Space Command. Okay. I could be so wrong. <laughs> That's just what I thought it is since I was a kid. <laughs> well, yeah, I just wanted to go over that. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to just show off the two customs I did so far uh, with the Halo World mixed with my crazy... Amrak Spot, which is the name of my world. So anything goes in my world, man. I did use uh, the Master Chief head from Joy Toy on this spark, or not Joy Toy, from fucking Jazzwares on this. Uh, I forget what the they're acid called. Acid Rain? Yeah, the Acid Rain, uh, the bulkier body with all the armor and stuff. Yeah, like Camelot or something like that. Something and it fucking work, looks great. We rounded it up. We'll be back next week, guys. This was just kind of a try it out thing. We're gonna <laughs> talk about some some small boy toys because there's really nobody talking about it. There's us and then there's, I know um, and and yeah. So if anyone was having trouble though putting this fucking thing together, this is not a how to. But the things go in the back, okay? The tanks they go in the back, and this goes here, and then this goes into this. Bag. There's a peg that looks like it that, that goes in. You'll figure it out. That was my biggest trouble. I was like, what in the hell? So, But I don't take any time to do anything. So, Yeah, I feel like you could have Spidey just sitting on the front windshield. Just like hanging off. Doing some Spidey's things. So it's all about. Party. Party time. Anywho, all right, yeah. So uh, make sure to follow Gorilla Customs, and I'm going to jump into the breakdown of Rigid Shot Back Trooper Man. Thanks to Moyer for stopping by Gorilla Customs. Like I said, check them out on Instagram. We are going to be doing these videos once a week, or we're going to try to at least. Um, it's been really hard right now to be putting out videos just by. Because I'm doing the customs and I'm you know doing all this stuff, but I've just been working so much. So bear with me. Like I said, he wants to jump in once a week and we're going to talk about 118, the small boy toys. So if you guys got a cool idea, let me know down in the comments. Stop what you're doing right now. Down in the comments. And uh, let us know. Give us a name for our uh, once a week thing for this three and three quarter 118 thing. 
Um, yeah, so if you see my Instagram, though, you've seen this guy on there. Just did red, white, and blue, Master Chief. Uh, just call him a Spartan. Just chromed him out with chrome pen, like I always use. This thing right here, the liquid chrome. And, yeah, I'm not sure which size this one is. But they have different sizes of what you want. One millimeter, two millimeter, whatever you decide to use for whatever you're doing. So, put that over there. We got some white that we use. Um, I did the, the gun in the back. I did all in gold. And, yeah, just some whites. Red, white, and blue, and some silver here and there. And, you know, for both of these, for when I'm hitting silver and, like, showing off that it's metal, then I'm using this Citadel right here. Not the chrome pen. Like, for the chrome areas, yeah. But, like, for on his right here, on the hoses, on any little parts that you see, I just put a little bit and then dry brush it on with this uh, Citadel. Silver. Bam. Yeah, red and blue. I use Citadel also for this one right here. And it's a pretty simple paint scheme. Um, there's no rub, right? Because it's all armor. So there's no rub. And yeah, you've seen some pictures of him on Instagram. So back over this rigid guy. My whole thing is, is like, he can walk around Amrak spot. And that's the world that I'm building here in my house. Um, kind of copying Empire Toy Works because he has rock gut. And I wanted to make my own world. And I wanted to have... Like, you know, you can have Spidey jumping in. You can have all these people just in the same world. And I thought that was really cool. For him, I used a little bit of orange. I put, oh yeah, a Star Wars helmet on there. I took the Master Chief helmet, popped it off, and put a Star Wars helmet on. And I thought that was just a, I thought it'd be really cool. Because my in my world, it's every anything goes. And that's what I want. I want to mix and match. So, um, we got a knife for protection, just in case. He might need that knife. Who knows? I might end up dropping that. This also pulls out. I have it on a peg, and right now I have some putty just holding it on. But yeah, so this whole thing will pull off if I want it to, if I want the unit separate. But yeah, for right now, I'm just holding it on there with a little bit of putty. It does stay on there. It just It's a little bit loose, so I want to put the putty on there just to hold it a little bit tighter. Drill the hole in the front. In the front right in this area so that i could plug that in did some white which again sit it out for the white this guy's a little heavy in the back so yeah you know sometimes stand them a little bit weird so yeah so for the white i use this citadel right here that you guys have seen me use before actually i just finished up that's why i got the silver on me and i'm all sorts of dirty so then for the wash, I use Create FX. Really good stuff. This is just the uh, dark black wash. And then for the orange, Citadel orange. I have a couple different oranges. I use a different orange for rust, but they're primarily the same color. This one's just a dry, dry one, so it's a little bit thicker of a paint. Oh my gosh. Could everything just fall over? We could just hang out and not fall over for one second uh yeah use this black right here the deco art cheap stuff from walmart i think i've used the same bottle for last year we're getting low i might have to get a new bottle soon but you've probably seen this in almost every video that i use black wash and then i use this gray i ordered this gray a long time ago this gray is called grimy black flat and it's actually more of a gray than a black flat i got it online so when i actually got it in hand I was like, oh, that's not flat black, because flat black was hard to find for a while. It might still be. And I used it in the areas like in here, here, up in the back, on the arms. And then I used the other gray, a lighter gray, boop, right here. Oh, you can't see it. This Tamiya right here. I used this gray, dark sea gray, for some of the other areas. Not so much on the droid unit. I actually did use it on this side, but then I weathered it pretty heavily. And then, yeah, I just use a huge shoelace for the uh, thing, for the vacuum, for the suction. So, yeah, because you want to pick up big stuff in there, so the hose has to kind of match. And the hose is just a shoelace. This is a wild idea. I know. It's crazy. And then glossy black for around the eyes. Like I said, different grays up in this area. And then the eyes, I use the glossy. Beep. He's going to keep falling. 
He's so heavy in the back. So he's glossy black, flat black for some of the black areas where I got the orange or I got the grays or the whites. Then yeah, same white also for him. So that's just a breakdown of all the stuff I use. Holy moly, dude, stand up. Okay, so yeah. Then I went over it with some of the powders. Not too many of the powders, but like I said, I love using this Tamiya, this weathering powder kit. It's really nice. You can find them on Amazon and stuff. You can do different, different ones. They have a bunch of different palettes. It's almost like a, it's like buying a makeup. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you all. I know this was a long video, but, you know, it's my channel, and this is what I wanted to do, and I thought it would be fun. So stay tuned, because up right now, it's time for some pictures, some toy photography. Again, thank you, thank you. Thanks to Moira Gorilla Customs for stopping by. Remember, be kind to one another. Bye.